Hello everybody, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to, boy, a couple of programs here, Cyberlink, Power Director Ultimate, Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, Premier Elements, DVD Architect. And today I want to talk to you about a program that is valuable no matter what program you're using for editing your video, and that is Handbrake. Handbrake is a free download, and it's one of those essential programs I think everybody should have on their computer. It's available, it's a French program, so Handbrake.fr. But Handbrake is the best converter out there and the simplest one to use. I think the quality is excellent and it's, like I say, above all, kind of foolproof. Handbrake is very valuable if you've got a video that for some reason doesn't have the right frame rate or that doesn't have the right resolution or it's using a codec that's not supported by your video editor. You can turn it into a more universal MP4 and then make it into a more editable file. And I want to show you how to do that. All you need to do when you open Handbrake is click on Open File here as a source selection. You can also, of course, drag the file over from Windows Explorer. But if you select File, the program will load the video file in. And then with a couple simple selections, you can create your output. Now, I have intentionally put an old 4x3 standard definition video into Handbrake because I just wanted to show you that even if you choose one of the presets you create, and I'll show you how to create a preset in just a moment, the program will automatically base the new video you create on the original's resolution unless you tell it otherwise, and that's great. I'm going to select a more common kind of file. Most people are working with high def now. It will import almost any kind of video file, MOVs, MKVs, uh, even H.265 files. And once you load it in, as I say, it detects your original file's resolution and then bases its output upon that by default. That's really great. Now here are the settings for output, and I did create a preset for myself, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment too. Go here to the preset menu, select General Fast 1080p 30. If you select one of these down here, super high quality, you're gonna get some other issues that you'd rather not deal with. But anyway, select Fast 1080p 30, Go over here to the video tab, run the video tab, make sure that your video codec that you've selected is H.264. That is the universal language of video and video editing right now. Manually select your frame rate. If you're in the NTSC world, that is North America, that is Japan, select 30 frames per second. You also have the option of selecting 25 for PAL land or even 24p. So I'm setting mine up for 30 and make sure you select constant frame rate. A variable frame rate will cause issues you don't want to deal with. Finally, go over here to the audio tab and select as your audio codec AAC. And that should do it. Once you've done all that, you can see that it says modified up here. You can save your presets here as a permanent setting. Select save new preset, give it a name, Steve settings, click add, and then when you want to use these settings again, you simply go to the menu here, select custom presets, and there is Steve settings. It will automatically set up the converter to create your standard MP4. Once you've done that, you simply browse to where you'd like your file to be saved and give it a name, click save. You'll see your path as well as a new file name displayed down here at the bottom of the program. Then up at the top, click start encode. Depending on the length of your video, it may take a few minutes or a few seconds to make the conversion. And then once it's done, it'll say Q finished, as you see in the lower left-hand corner. And there is our new converted video. Now this video, as I say, has standard enough settings that it will work in virtually any program. As I say, Handbrake is an invaluable tool and it can really make some difficult to edit files uh, quite editable. It's my go-to program for creating standardized files. If you want to know more about these kind of tools, be sure to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know anything about video editing, check out our books on amazon.com. They're a great way to keep the site going and help support us so we can continue to bring you these kind of tips and tutorials. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.